In this video, we'll be discussing the O2 closed loop and how to set it up. All right, something I left out in the last fuel tuning video was in your target fuel tables uh, and any other ECU that's out there with the B model, when you change the target number, say you target 11.0 AFR, uh, the ECU is automatically gonna compensate for you. You don't have to change the fuel table or anything. Uh, in the fuel tech, you'll have to change your your main table, your main primary fuel table if you target a different air fuel ratio. Um, let's just say, you know, the difference between that 12.2 to 11, right? So the split is 12.2, you know, we're, we're making the target fuel about 10%, 11% richer. So in those cells from 24 PSI down to 4.7, if you change your target table, now you're gonna have an error in your O2 closed loop. So you're targeting a richer AFR, let's say you were having zero compensation. Well, now you're gonna have a 10% correction on the fuel table. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that, but to get ahead of it, to you know, for the O2 doesn't go chasing it, you can go in here and and add, you know, multiply it by 1.1, and now you've added 10% to the main primary table, and your O2 target should theoretically not have to, you know, your O2 closed loop should should not have to correct much so if you decide to change the target table go in there and change the primary table as well uh, I usually like to make these tables um, the O2 target table is only a you can only do a 16 by 16 so if it matches if you set it up to match your primary fuel table that makes things a little bit easier but it doesn't have to be that way just keep in mind where you're making the changes at on the map scale and RPM and typically it's just um, you know from based off boost and you just flatline it some people run it leaner down low if it's a per charge combination and then richen it up as at rpms as the inlet temp goes up so it's really up to you and then as far as the uh, settings uh, I typically don't use closed loop at idle if you got a big nasty cam and it's just choppy or you got a short exhaust I turn it off uh, some people set temperature limits where it's it's used and not used that's really up to you and then the O2 for average value and my car I had one for the left and one for right so it's going to use an average of both of them to compensate for the closed loop uh, if you just want to use you know if you're a single turbo setup with a one down pipe you would use O2 general 102 sensor uh, if you had eight, you can set up individual ones and it would average out all of them or whichever bank you wanted to average out. Uh, during uh, Excel enrichment, I usually just turn off closed loop. You can set it to freeze and where it just holds that target number. And then this is behavior during uh, power reduction. You can change that as well. Uh, during the burnout two-step, three-step, when it's popping and banging, I disable it as well. Uh, auxiliary target tables, that's just that, right? If you can set one based over time, if you got a pro night, just set up. Uh, and then this is self-explanatory, O2 closed loop on anti-lag. What do you want it to do when it's, you know, during the pops bang function that's part of the software? You can even set up a target map you know, its own separate target table when it's un under that function. Average value protection, uh, when this is enabled, the feature will momentarily ignore O2 sensors with reading values above. So if the O2 goes lean, it just ignores it. 
and then the control limits i like to set mine low um when you're initially setting up the fuel map you can just leave it wide open that way it compensates and you can once you narrow it down i typically like to keep the close the compensation nice and tight so that it doesn't over or undershoot when it's you know if the fuel table is a little off you know you, you can just have it add maybe 10 percent, but not pull so much so this is up to you but the o2 uh, pid controller can sometimes uh, overshoot its target number and you know it, you can start having these little lean and rich spikes in the fuel just just from the o2 pid controller doing that so keep that in mind and i think that's it for this video uh, just remember comment like and subscribe drop a comment let me know what you think about these videos please